Brilliant. Hello, Russ. Welcome. Uh, thank you for sitting down with me. How are you today? Good, thanks. And yourself? I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. Um, mm -hmm. Now, I, I recently came across your music um, and just everything you do, and I, I found it I found it very um, inspirational um, and very beautiful, actually. Um, first thing, first thing I want to ask you is thank you. <laughs> uh, first thing I want to ask you is what makes you happy? Uh, music makes me happy. Music makes you happy. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now you you came here from Accra in Ghana, didn't you? Yep. Can you can you tell us what was it like growing up growing up in the in the ghettos of, of Accra? Um, I don't know too much, but I know that uh, Ghana gained independence in 1959 from the British, I believe. Yeah. Um, what's 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 like what's life like over there? Yeah, life in in, in Ghana um, is is hard for those who have no money. You know, um, it's like the richest are rich and the poorer, the poorest become more poor, you know. And, you know, the way, um, you know, our structures of management of economy in Western world, or let me say, you know, like Australia, it's not like that in Africa. Mm. So we depend on family and friends and we help each other and we show more love and respect to each other. And that's how we live our life, you know. And, mm. and from the ghetto, uh, ghetto is not easy there because, you know, uh, it's, it's very hard for you to make it from the ghetto. So I try best because I have the uh, gift of music and it has survived me a lot from the ghetto and all the time to um, I preach the peace and love in the ghetto because if you don't have food to eat you don't have good place to live what again so the boys or the the ghetto youth they go on the streets you know doing violence things to get their end meat, you know? So it's very hard for you to make a decision not to be part of that and make a positive, um, positive, like, you know, a be a positive, change. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, positive change in the ghetto, you know? It's hard yeah. because they, they want to see you yourself, how far have you been since you said you are practicing peace and love and, you know, so you need to really make a difference. So I push hard with my music and, and I sing for them, you know, I, I, I listen to their cry and because they are voiceless and there are a lot of people in the ghetto who are so clever and intelligent. If you talk of African, African power or people that has led Africa to become African today and people are hearing the cry of Africa, the voice of Africa. A lot of them have the ghetto experience, you know, because um, in Africa like this, our parents decide what to do for us. But in the, in the ghetto, you do whatever you want. And it's like um, you are free in the ghetto. So ghetto life is, is, if I'm describing ghetto life, it's not easy, but yeah, yes, we take it easy and we manage the situation and we, we, we try to make a change in the world, you know, because uh, we were born to be a blessing to our family, our friends, our community, our country, our continent, and the whole world as well. So that is my mission and the only thing I can, I can depend on in this vision is to be uh, lovely and and bring humanity and people don't see um human as a main object but they rather think of race 
and race is, 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 is created by human beings, you know, but naturally we are, we are nature. Every mm. human being is a nature, animal is a nature, you know, and the trees and the rivers, you know, so you can't get rid of every human being on this planet. So the only thing you're going to do as a stranger, because we are, we are strangers. So if you have the mandate or just give you the power to, to just lead people, you don't need to be a, a dictator, but you need to be a leader, you know, just tapping people, ideas and energies, bringing them together and, and make this world a better place for us. Because even if I'm hundred and something years, I will never be happy like this my young time, you know? So this is a time I have to make peace with people and enjoy life and make life easy for each other, you know? Yeah. But this time we need to live in harmony and unity and love and respect each other. We are rather um, fighting each other, you know, battling each other, killing each other, you know? Mm. And that is, that is what I started to tell the people in the ghetto because in the ghetto, a lot of people has lose their lives and some of, the, some, of, some of them also has made it, you know, because um, I, 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 I sacrificed my life in the ghetto to make sure that people will get other side of life because in the ghetto, you don't see any positive. The only thing you see is negative, 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 you know? And people that has been abused, people that has been neglected, people that has been putting down, if they come to the ghetto, nobody, you know, it's like a, it's a free zone. Everybody does what he wants. But in, in life, you need to have a sense of direction sometimes and advice. And advice comes through human being, you know? So we sharing ideas together, we talking to each other, we making sure we bring positive energy to the community, make me happy, make me myself happy. The most important thing is me being a, a, a help to someone, make me so happy. Yeah. You get what I mean? Course, so yeah. that is the reason why um, for me, um, I like to, you know, mingle with any other person that I, I, I see on the street because education has no end. Mm -hmm. And we are learning still. Only fool said I'm graduated, so I know everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And still now, things are coming that you need to learn. You yeah. meet new things every day. So every human being, if you, if, you, if you open your mind widely and put yourself as a student, you always get good content and share with people. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Okay. Um let, let's talk about your, your, your music career. Um, I'm, I'm just reading here and it seems you're a very talented man, a uh, drummer, percussionist, singer, songwriter, producer. Um, how, how did you, how did you get into music? Who, uh, at, at a young age, who motivated you and who inspired you to, to take up a career in music? Um, I started my music career back from where I was born because I'm coming from a royal home. Yeah. And in Africa, in our culture, uh, every royal, royal home have a traditional music that the king or the, um, how do you call it? The, the, the chief used to communicate, used to call for their bar, used to make the community and to entertain the community too. So I grew up that um, all these things are available with me because I live in the palace where we have um, all those instruments. So I grew up, I was born into it because in my naming ceremony, they drum, they drum the traditional drum and pour libation and do whatever with me, you know. So I grew up to the time I'm, I'm growing up, I see music around me. So from there, and I also, you know, started exhibiting the music talent and they put me in the group. And from there, a friend also father was a priest. So he invited me to church. So from there, I went and learned 
um, um, how to play a uh, kick drum, you know? Oh. And I joined the band and that's how my music career take off. Oh, okay. so, so music is, is obviously very important uh, back where you come from. Um, it is. It's just your personal being. It is. We use music for therapy. We use music for communication. We use music for entertainment. We use music for sports. We use music for, um, you know, every healing. You know, we use music for, for our religious practicing. You know what I mean? So music is the key point of African power. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Um, do you, have you noticed, have you noticed at all, is there a difference in the way we approach music in Australia to, compared to how you approach music back in Ghana? Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's, it's, it's different because uh, in Ghana, uh, if you are not talented, you can't do music. Hmm. You know, even it's not only music. Every uh, are you are you saying are you saying that there's a lot of untalented people in in music here? <laughs> yeah, people love to play music, but they are not. You know <laughs> what I mean? They love to play music. Everybody loves music, all yeah, right. And there are opportunity here to go and learn and go and study. You know, to become a musician. But in Africa, we don't have that structures. In, 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 in Ghana. Actually, we in the, in the uni and some of the private schools, they have a course like, you know, music studies, you know. So a lot of people can afford to do that. Okay. And most of the prominent musicians, most of them are, you know, talented, free will, and they join the band and they learn how to play the music and they become, um, they graduated and they become professional musicians. Mm -hmm. So that's how it works. But uh, in Australia here, uh, if you go to school, you have a choice. Either you like to do sports, you like to do music, you like to do, uh, but you know, anything you wanted to do, there is a huge opportunity. So if you show a little bit interested, like, you know, you wanted to play music, and you started playing it, you can do it to up to uni, you know? And one thing about, we, we listen to the music and we play it. But in this country, you need to put everything into chat for them to read it. You know, some of them, if you have a gig and somebody is uh, upset and take his chat out of his face, then that, that, that gig, you miss out because mm. you have no chance to, to watch and play, you know. But we take it like uh, um, academic, you know, you need to go to the class and learn and keep it in your mind. So if you have a music and you are in the band and they put new song up to, for you guys to learn, you need to just have a time and practice at home before you come to the rehearsal grounds, you know? Yeah, yeah. But uh, some of the musicians here do that, some also don't. They will come and they will let, just put their chart out and they play as it go. And if it happens like that, one different, the difference between African music and, 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 and Australian music or Australian musicians, are, if we are playing on the stage, the music itself moves you. You, you know, you 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 are into it. You know, we, we, it's a spiritual thing. You know, so you 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 attach with your soul to the the thing that you are doing. Mm. But here, you know, people because if you are reading the chart, you can't even dance. So your concentration is on the chart. So you can't dance. You got what I mean? Yeah. So um, talking of entertainment like music is a big thing some people sing for the audience some people entertain the audience you got what i mean yeah. some if they come they will just sing you can hear the music you can hear the lyrics but you, if you look at the art on stage 
you can't and feel anything. The only thing you can, you have to sing along what they are singing, you know. But yeah. you, the, uh, you know, as an entertainer, you need to just entertain the people with, you know, the groove that you are having. Yeah. So you entertain them. So that's the only difference between African musicians and Australian here that are, I am, or Western musicians. But like I'm saying to you, there are talents in Australia who are very good. They listen, they can reach out, they will come into it. They just, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. heaps of musicians that you have, you have few of them like that. Mm -hmm. That's my okay, experience. Yeah. yeah. So, so do you, you think, I mean? yeah, do you think musicians are, they're not really doing it for the love of music, but just trying to get a payday? Some of them, but yeah. some to do with love. Yeah. You know, you, you can't judge all of them in the same, you know, course, ca you can't put them on the same category because some people are not. Some, hmm. yes. Hmm. Okay. Um, now, the, the Hope of Africa Band, you started this back in, in 2006. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about that and why you started it? Sorry? The, the Hope of Africa band that you started back in 2006. Yep. Uh, could you tell us, why'd you, why'd you start that? Why do I start the band? Yes, yeah. Yeah, you know, um, the time I had a call to start the mission, I can't help myself because um, it was, it was, divine thing that um ja gave it to me mm. to bring people in the whole world together to play music and and make a difference and change in people's life you know because um um i saw music as a tool of development okay. and and vehicle of progress so um if we we want to make a change in the world and we want, we want the whole world to come together and having one goal that we have to live in peace and harmony because we have nowhere to go. This is the little place that we can just live and enjoy ourselves, you know, and we put it through music and it will be fine for everybody, you know. Yeah. So um, for me, my band Hope of Africa, because um, I'm an African and I was born as a musician and I'm, I, I give hope, and that's why I put the name the Hope of Africa, you know, because um, it is Africans that are facing a lot of tribulation, you know what I mean? So they are the people that need more hope, you know, mm -hmm. because um, you, if you, uh, you are a human being, and unless somebody buy food and you have a little bit to eat, for for your whole meal, for your whole for the whole day it's not a good thing so it make people think there is no hope in mm. life but the same people that i see some of them because of their talent they are now playing in big clubs overseas some of them has uh, got opportunities to to go to school and now they are in the government some of them are in the forces some of them are having their businesses you know because um, we, 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 we stand and we try to give them hope through music and through, you know, getting closer to each other to inspire him. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes I, I have some people, me personally, I move to them and I have to have it, you know, because they see me on the stage, they can't tell me how they feel. So if you are able to contact me like the way you contact me on social media like this, we can talk and I will advise you, I can inspire you with mm. my experience that I have and some of the people to have shared their past experience with me and I will share with you because sometimes there are certain key that you hold, it can open somebody's door. You got what yeah. I mean? Mm. And this proverb, it means some problem you may have the solution that you got can also solve somebody's problem exactly that you went through to solve his, his problem for him 
or her. So I see life like, you know, um, give and take. And I'm also thankful that I'm in Australia because I'm learning a lot from Australians too, because Australians are very nice people and they are people that they accommodate everyone. Unless you are stupid, sorry, you know, unless you, you are misbehaving out of your head. Everywhere on the planet, nobody wants to see such person, you know? Of course, of course. So if you discipline yourself and you are respectful, you, Australians will welcome you. And I really appreciate that. Well, hopefully, hopefully you've met more um, uh, kind Australians than you have uh, mean and ugly Australians. Yes, yes. I have met some people who have dicked me around and after that to the put you know um it's like uh, uh they they smack you and they they mix ginger and chili and and they they they, they, they rob you with ginger and chili you know and they, okay. they will tell you not to not to cry that's how it is they they will put you in their position you are not feeling comfortable and they will turn around telling people that love you and you know try to discredit you, try to badmouth you, try to make you feel like you are nobody on the planet. You know, but um, as a Rasta man, I know in life they have negative and positive. And all of them make, you know, it works because day and night make the day, you know. Because if you start from the morning, you have the morning sun, morning light, and evening the darkness will come. So you need to expect all those things. But how you gonna manage it, make who you are. Yeah. Okay. Um, the the 2012 Ghana Peace Concert. Um, what was that like? It was a tension in Ghana at that time because um, our um, president at that time, you know, um, at that time has. Uh, finish his term so then then the new one that came on uh, came to power and he need to you know maintain his seat and them to they bring somebody that they trusted and and the, you know people people uh, uh, what the people the masses say is what you know uh, that's the voice of the lord so mm -hmm. People don't want him at that time. So the 2012 was a very, very, very um, tension. Is tension has arisen in Ghana, and because of you know political conflicts, and and so we were pulled out to just start to spread the peace and love, and and that's where. Uh, some uh, because in Ghana we don't have states, we have regions. So some of the regions there are conflict over there. They have family issues already, and they they they, they attach with the political issues, you know, and inflame all those things. So I wrote a song about that. Stop the war, you know, because um, and yeah. So I, I introduced that song at that time. And that is how they take us around to spread the peace and love to Ghanaians. And it, it works. So 2012, they have a peaceful election and everything went successfully. Yeah. So is everything, would you say things are looking up over in Ghana? Yeah, actually, I'm here for a while now. And from the news and from friends and family that are contacting me, you know, things are getting worse and worse and, you know, they are manipulating them and they, they you know, and the worst thing is um, um, religion also is taking over and they use religion to manipulate the people and take um, um, rich, uh, money from the poor, you know, and they don't encourage the, the, the poor people to work. But the only thing, after they take them, they encourage them that uh, there will be there is hope somewhere if they die, you know? 
and we are living on the this reality liberty. You need to survive. You need to eat. You need to wear. You need to. So if people are not having all those things, and they, they don't have good hospital, they don't have good um, water, and they don't have good health care, and all those things. They don't have. They, you know, in Ghana, we don't have Center Link. You know. Yeah. So yeah. all these things, it, you know, it's hard for the people to survive. And, and, but we have rich minerals like gold, diamond, oil, and bauxite, and timber. We have a lot of um, rich minerals, coffee, whatever, cocoa, but the people don't see anything, you know? And they think as a citizen, because some of us and some of the people of Ghana, they, they have been to overseas. They stay overseas, studying some of them. <clears throat> came here <clears throat> with, you know, they went to overseas <clears throat> with work, you know, some with school. So after that, if they go back and they, they check justice and they check freedom and they don't see anything, then more they started, you know, but because we are musicians, that is the only difference. Because we are musicians, we try to give them music that it will sustain them and who let their message also to be heard in the proper way not aggressive mm -hmm. not uh, violence not being political but you know we, we we address how people are feeling and how i'm also feeling you know so that's the thing in ghana so our political issues are very very uh, fragile now because so the party in power yeah. So you the definitely. Party in power. Uh, yeah, keep going. Sorry, the uh, party in uh, power promised them a lot, and they and and they didn't fulfill the promise. They did some, but they didn't do half of what they told them. Hmm. And and the 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 president before um, the ex president that it was vote out have only one term, you know, four years. You know, and before, because of um, 2016, uh, he, he had uh, 2012, he was in power, he went to power, and 2016, they vote him out of power. So he wanted to come back again, and this one also wanted to, you know, um, take his four years, more four years to, you know, run his term out. And so it, it has been a bit of, competition and you know um and a whole of tension as at now in ghana i'm talking to you you know there are a lot of tension now because of the political issues and this covid too so social distances and you know our system is not like here which uh, one one family can have the whole house for themselves you know but one family a family like four people can have only one room Wow. you know most so few people that have money have houses like this you know so yeah. uh it's hard for those people and those people that they run to come to the ghetto because they feel the ghetto everybody is the same and people will show them way to make uh, they will end uh, their end meet so they have to be you know and you 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 come across with bad boys good guys you know prostitutes whole lot of you know you meet a lot of things in the ghetto you know and you don't have parents there so if you are you are small and you don't have brain and you come there and you meet somebody like me then i'm gonna talk to you some people it's just the parents are telling them of of wrong things they are doing and they just back off and they come there so if I, if I talk to you and I see your parents have a good plans for you, why not? You have to come and join these people that have no parental, they have nothing and they are just living their life to survive. You know, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. If your parents have plans for you, you need to respect that and just go by it and you'll be fine, you know, because yeah. Africans, yeah. we don't have center link. So uh, some people... If their parents don't have, maybe their uncles will be supporting them or family, you know, family members or friends. This is how we do in Africa, you know.
more especially Ghana. So life a little bit is different from Australia. Yeah, it sounds. Yeah, I I couldn't even imagine it. Um, mm. So you so you definitely see music as a way to spread a message of hope and love and peace. Yeah, music is music is so powerful, my brother. Definitely. definitely. If the whole world they they shut music down, people gonna die. Oh yeah, definitely. Because, I'll agree with that. You know, yeah. music is the soul is, is is the food for the soul. So uh, at a point in time, you like to listen to some songs to inspire you to to get on with what you are doing. Even if you have stress, you know, you listen to some music. It will just take you out of stress. Even if you can't sleep, there are some songs. You even if you said you, you wanted to, you are spiritualist and you are praying. You know, you you are praying. You need to sing a little bit. You know, so yeah. uh, music is, is is so powerful, and we use music also as you know vehicle of progress. Like me personally, I like to. You know, bring people that um, they 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 are not known, but they have the talent. I bring them on the stage, so people can see them. Mm. Some some people also have the talent, but they are nervous. They can't face crowd. You know. Yeah, yeah. So we give all those kind of people opportunity. Then they also can be you know having experience. And music also is something that they use to check people that are doing wrong from right, you know? And yeah. we use music also to express how we feel. If like, like you love somebody, you can express it through music. Yeah. You know what I mean? So music is, is, a, is a broad thing. And, it, and music also employ a lot of people, yes. you know? Yeah. For example, if we are having a festival, they will employ a lot of musicians. They will employ a lot of um, coordinators. They will employ a lot of, you know, uh, um, how do you call it? And, and people also who are coming to the concert coming because of the music, you get what I mean? So yeah, yeah. out of that too, um, the taxi drivers, the Uber drivers or the buses, they make money, you yeah. know? So music is something that give, uh, uh, it gives hope. Yeah. You know, music gives hope. Music is life. Definitely, definitely. Music is the food of the soul, you know. Definitely. So that's how I see it. And I'm happy that um, God has given me, Jah has given me this opportunity to become a musician. Mm. And some of them also use it negative. Some people, they will play good music. If you want to, sh they show you their videos or nudes, you know, they sh so it make the, the, the youth also follow that trend because musicians, people look up to you. The way you dress, the way you talk, people wanted to be like you. So musician is, 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 musician is so powerful. And I hope if every musician see himself like that and we try to use our talent to make a positive change, it will help us in life. Well, that's beautiful. <laughs> I really like that, man. Um, mm. Now, let, let's talk about your... Because today, today uh, Saturday, we're recording this. You're releasing a new music video. Yeah. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about that one there? Yeah, the music video I'm releasing, the title is My Love. And... I, I I wrote the song um, for my wedding day because I have a beautiful woman in my life who has turned my life around. And today, if you can have opportunity to talk to me, it's because of her, you know? <laughs> so I want the whole world to acknowledge our, our loved ones. You got what I mean? If somebody loves you, you need to appreciate and and just express as a musician, I express how I feel. And that song, I, I, I wanted to, like I said, I wanted to launch it on my wedding day to give my wife by surprise. But, you know, we couldn't finish it in time. And so many things happens on the way. And, and yeah, so 
we hold it studio studio time you know this uh, musician is not feeling well sound engineer is not well so many obstacles so it take yeah. time before the album get ready so like that song i wanted to release it as a single but because um i couldn't get the time right so i add it to my new album and i call it my love it's wonderful it's beautiful <laughs> yeah um brilliant uh what do you after this music video what do you have planned for the future um i have i have this idea in mind that um i'm i'm i'll, I'll do this live uh, live stream gigs and looking forward for festivals i've have some few emails and and in america and england and yeah so i'm still communicating with people yeah. and i'm trying to um australia here too because i'm involved in the music industry too i'm hoping that uh, the corona um, protocol that now we are um um we are following you know yeah. the restriction has been a bit uh, easy than before mm. so i'm hoping that uh, they will give us a chance to start to play concerts so i can invite all friends that love my music mm. and family then i will entertain them with my new album so they can some people can get it online but you know me i'm an old school man you know yeah. Yeah. I, I like the CDs and cassettes and people also, they like it like that. Yeah. And they would like to have my signature because they saw me and I don't know when they were going to meet again. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. I would like those friends and loved ones to come around. Then we entertain them with the music they listen. And so there are plans that we have for the future. But at the moment, I can't guarantee you what exactly yeah i'm going to do the only thing i'm gonna do is is interviews and because i have some few radio interviews up coming up and thank you you also for giving me the opportunity this is my first podcast i don't even understand me and my wife i say this podcast <laughs> it works because i don't i don't really I, i've heard it on the radio our post podcast blah 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 but you know i don't know so it's it's my first time of being yeah. on this yeah. kind of platform and i appreciate you your time and your effort of <laughs> contacting me and i really appreciate you brother oh. thank you i, I appreciate that. you hop, you hopping on man um don't don't worry about figuring out podcasts just stick to stick to music because you are wonderful at that and don't don't draw any other focus away from that just stick on your music I yeah it's so wonderful for people thank you thank you but you know uh, this time around the message need to be heard yes because yes. sometimes the only thing um i i would like you to uh, understand that as a musician you need to get involved with the people and see their problems also to make people hear what is going on underground, you know? Yeah. And and it's, it's, it's about we being honest to ourselves and love each other. Yeah. So uh, I'm happy that I'm a musician, but sometimes I feel like I have to be a blessing to somebody too, mm. you know? And I can't, I can't do it all. So once a while i like to meet somebody who is vulnerable who have no one to talk to so if you see me and i i share my message with the person the person also and most of the time too people you know the time that i play concert um people are not um there like disabled you know disability people can't you know some some came with some of the gigs that is like a day gig or you know 
evening. But going to the night, like concerts that we yeah. start from 12 o'clock, they can't waste, they can't be there for that long, you know? Yeah, course, and yeah. So I'm looking into all those things and I have, um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a master drummer. So sometimes I catch up with such people and I have one-on-one -on -one conversation, then I take my drum there, then I drum with them, then they, they, they become alive, you know? Mm. And so these are the things that I do. I do drumming therapy too, you know? But I, I, don't, I don't just do it like, you know, uh, once I have uh, my concerts, ongoing at the festival then i'm doing those things you know i have a time that if my spirit tells me that ras set a time go and meet people that are vulnerable mm -hmm. you know i have mm -hmm. i have some instinct in me something in me that it moves me around that's the difference you know i don't just use my brain but yeah. i have the spiritual the spirit you can tell mm. me to do something, I'll tell you, I don't feel like doing it, so I can't do it. Yeah, but if exactly. I feel like doing it, I do it to to the bottom. I make sure that everything will be done properly mm. because I do it from the heart. But if you force me to do it, it's a different story. So I have a time that I, I set there. I, I'm coming out, I'm coming to do drumming healing. So anyone that likes drumming should come around. So we talk. We, we share experiences, we talk about stuff, sometimes we're being sarcastic just to make people laugh and be happy and get into it, you know, because yes. sometimes smiling and laughing also take a lot of anxiety and stress away, you know, and yeah. people do things that they don't even think of because they are happy, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I, I use my music also to to, to do that in the community mm -hmm. and I help those who I can because I'm a human being I can't do it all this is the reason yeah. why I keep on announcing to people let's live in peace let's be respectful to each other let's unite let's hold ourselves sol solidarity because tomorrow is RAS but yeah. tomorrow next is somebody else too so if we are holding ourselves we know whatever we tap energy from each other then we become a strong ammunition you know peace yeah. and unity ammunition you don't need only ras to do the work everybody can just do it yeah. and if i'm inspiring somebody with my music the person also can write good music to inspire people you know what i mean yeah. but you know i don't want us to just think about only one direction so my music is across board I talk about, you know, spirituality because if there is a creator, if there is a creation, there will be a creator. Mm. That's my belief as a Rasta man. If there is a creation, there will be a creator. So if I wake up, I just give thanks for the nature, the spirit, the air that I'm breathing, you know, the life that I've got because some people are rich and by this time they're in, in, in the mortuary room, you know, Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not better than them, but it's just by the grace. So I have to be thankful. So I always thank Jah for life, you know. I always thank Jah for life because with life, everything will be okay. And I yeah. think people also realize and just be in their self. And it's not only music make you become like what I'm doing. Somebody is a journalist, he, he would like to uh, broadcast good message for people to listen mm. so it can inspire them you know somebody is a cook and he cook very well and if you eat his food it will inspire your spirit to mm. achieve something that always you are dreaming and you can't somebody is a is a driver you know if he's driving you even you feel the energy straight, he will talk to you and you meet him and he will also preach wisdom because if you sit into somebody who is a good person, you sit inside his car, definitely there will be a conversation mm. and it will be positive. So everybody is working in diverting ways, you know, you know, 
that's how yeah. I see it. But if we come together with music sometimes and, and share the word together, that doesn't make me like I'm, I'm so smarter than everybody on the planet. That's yeah. why I like to, I don't like to do as a single artist. I like to do band. Because yeah. with the band, you meet people that they will come with another inspiration. Sometimes the day I walk into the, I walk into the rehearsal grounds, something has pisses me off, which I'm not happy. But with one or two people smiling with me, talking to me, I just forgot mm -hmm. about it. Then I come into it. So I see life like, you know, iron sharpen iron. You help me, I help you, you know? So you do good to me. I will, you know, you, you end up, you know, getting the good energy back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Um, Ross, it, is, it has been an absolute pleasure chatting to you today. Thank you. Thank you so much for the time. Um, You're welcome. I feel very enlightened now. Uh, it is wonderful. Um, of course, yeah, you dropped your new music video today. Uh, we, will, we will share that with everyone so they can hear that and hear your wonderful and your beautiful music. Um, and hopefully I will be able to watch you perform sometime soon. Uh, you are welcome. Thank you very much for giving me the platform and, and I appreciate it and people can follow me on Facebook mm -hmm. if you, people want to see me and, and hear more of my music you can go to reverbnation.com or www.hopeofafricabandandproduction.com on Facebook the Hope of Africa Band and Instagram Hope of Africa Band you know, so this is how people can also get me and they should download my music for me to, you know, get some income to record more because I'm putting myself together. I have a lot of messages and, you know, positive messages, inspiring messages, word of hope, you know, because we'll die anyway. If nobody kills you, you still die. But you need to live a, you know, life that will make you you're so happy mm. you know you, you feel good you don't need to walk in and looking at your back you know you move forward you know that you know there are positive things out there so this is what you know killing human being is not right you know killing each other is not right discriminating each other is not right we need to love each other we need to stand for each other me i don't i don't know what is called race because if you wanted to, if you wanted to uh, understand what I mean, if you you cut black man or black, you you cut his you cut him and blood is coming. Check the color of the blood, and check the white too. The color of the the, the white are they not the same color? We are the same human being, so we need to look up to humanity. You know, we should stop fighting color, race. We should look, we should concentrate on mother nature, mother earth. We have to respect the earth. We are, we are damaging the earth. We are spoiling the earth. We are spoiling nature and we think it's okay. That is not okay. You know, we are here to make a difference. We are here to, to support the good works our great grandparents did. And we are here to fulfill the same, you know, goal. So we don't need to fight each other. We don't need to, to mock each other. We need to respect. And one thing, before you can love somebody, you need to respect the person. And the moment the respect comes and the love will follow and the unity start to work. Mm. And these three elements, humanity can work on that. Everybody want power and control, power and con divide and conquer. And, you know, believing... He, he's superior than everybody. Where, where, where are we taking the whole world to? We we'll all eventually die and leave. So let's make this place a happy earth and respect the nature, you know, and respect the nature. We, the human beings, we are virus to the nature, you know. So we need to look into that and do the right thing by the nature. And if you have that feeling that you respect nature, you respect human beings. But those who don't have respect for nature, they
they are the people that cause damage to humanity too. So we need to have respect to Mother Earth and respect humanity. And this world will be a better place. Even check out me back home in Africa. I don't have, I have, um, I don't have cats because cats are weird. But I live with a cat that he shake me, he come to me, you know, he love me. And I started developing love for the cat too. It means this world, if we all, we respect each other and respect nature and we live with respect and unity and, and love. Animals and everything will be, in, you know, will be like, you know, we don't have, we don't have to die. You know, like everything will work successfully for us. But look at how the world is going today. Today, I can't entertain people just because of what? You got what I mean? Yeah. Why? Yeah. You know, so all these things, if we start to work around it and we'll be honest to ourselves, no manipulation, no second game, no uh, power and control. And we see ourselves that everywhere you go, is mother earth so you need to respect the people there you need to share what you know your knowledge with them and you need to acquire the knowledge they have because you know uh, this world nobody know whatever is coming to achieve on this earth till you have your parents and they start to guide you and go to school and you acquire knowledge so i don't see the point that we need to discriminate each other we need to you know hate each other we need to try to you know, fight each other. There is absolutely no room for that in my sight. So I like peace and love and respect. One love. That's awesome. I love that. Hell yeah, man. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, and I look forward well, to, to hopefully seeing you in the future sometime. <laughs> sure, I will. Have, have a good night, my friend. All right, okay. Sweet in my dreams Baby, you are my lover No one can contest Nina, you are my lover No one can contest Pretty, you are my queen Oh, 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 oh. Baby, you are my lover